Hi, continuing on with our pie lab, uh, what I'm going to make today is a sugar cream pie. Sometimes it's called a Hoosier pie, sometimes it's called an Indiana cream pie. Uh, I guess this pie is uh, part of the Indiana history, so uh, you'll find it listed in different ways. And uh, what, what you're going to use is an unbaked pie shell. It's considered a custard pie in the custard pie family. First of all, we need three tablespoons of flour. So I'm going to measure those and put them in the bowl. This is a very rich pie. There's the three tablespoons. One and a half cups of sugar. Some of the recipes will call for brown sugar. Uh, the one I'm making today uses just, just regular granulated sugar. So there's one and a half cups. Well, there's one cup. There's a half cup, so there's one and a half cups. And we'll mix that a little bit, just stir the flour into the sugar. Some of the recipes that I've looked at call for this to be cooked on the stove. Others, you just pour it into the uh, unbaked pie shell and bake it in the oven. And I have my oven preheated to 425. So it's a pretty hot oven and what that does is set the, the pie, pie pretty thoroughly and then um, after a while you turn it down. So um, next thing it says to add the cream or evaporated milk, whatever you choose. Now don't do a lot of stirring. You don't want to incorporate any air into that. So I'm going to mix that, just gently stir, try to get that sugar dissolved a little bit. There's no whipping here, this, you don't use your wire whisk at all, just stir to get all that sugar dissolved in the milk. Also in this family is regular custard pie. Pecan pie falls into the custard family line. Pumpkin pie. So there's several different kinds of pies that fall in this, this category. This does not have any kind of topping on it. No meringue, no whipped cream, or anything like that. Okay. Um, then I'll add vanilla. And it's a teaspoon of vanilla. And I will pour this into my pie plate. And the last step of this is to sprinkle the top with nutmeg. And I have ground nutmeg. And I'm just going to shake it on the top gives a little bit more color. And once the oven is ready, this will go in the oven for, uh, let's see, 10 minutes at 425. Then I will reduce the heat to 325 and continue baking for somewhere around 45 to 55 minutes. What is going to happen if you choose to make this pie is you'll get it all put together, have it ready to go, and I will 
you won't put the filling in the pie, but I'll do that and bake it in the morning so that it's ready. Um, otherwise, it'll be till six o'clock at night till this pie is done. So um, it's it's very liquidy, so you have to be real careful when if you make this on your own, not to spill it all over the place. So this is ready to go in the oven as soon as the oven's ready, and that's pretty simple pie. And there is the sugar cream pie. It's baked and uh, it has a very nutmeggy smell when you smell it. And it needs just to cool down and it will set up a little bit more once it cools down. And I did bake it for 55 minutes, longer than what the recipe said.